So here we go. Here's, um, here's, here's some of the game birds. Start of the game season. Here we've got a fantastic um, New Seasons mallard. Young bird. Still quite small, but one of the first to arrive. First of September, uh, mallard season starts. And this is a wonderful headshot bird. Um, no, no shot in the breast at all. Um, and it kind of signifies here's autumn. Yeah. You know, that's the reality. Once the, game, once the first game birds arrive, the whole mindset in the kitchen changes. There's a harmony of flavor between game birds and root vegetables that is just undeniable. There's an earthiness and a slight sweetness, which is fantastic with, with game. Um, at the start of the game season, when the grouse come in and the uh, wild ducks, they lend themselves to fruit. There's plums are still just in season. Blackberries are still just in season. Elderberries are still just in season. So a little bit of fruit in there is great. Some quince. Um, I personally don't go a real bundle on trying to get anything too complicated in there. In terms of herbs and spices, bay is always fantastic. Um, and then there are the traditional things like juniper, clove. Um, but they've got, you know, they've got to be treated carefully because they're very you know, they're, they're complex flavours and they are, they're, they're, in, they're intense and it's traditional, but I certainly don't think it's, they're not, they're not necessary. I personally like to go clean meat, a bit of sweetness, fruit of some sort, and root vegetables is the, is the, is the ultimate combo for me. As you can see, um, these are fantastic fresh birds, but you have to look through the grouse every day to make sure that the, the breasts are in great condition. They want to be dry, there wants to be no blood hemorrhaging in there. You get one there where there's a, 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 some shot has gone in there somewhere and there's a blood hemorrhage, so that bird will go back. Um, but, you, but you are looking for beautiful, dry, intact skin, amazing uh, smell. Uh, that is great British grouse. The fact that they're lean means that um, it's very unforgiving if it's overcooked at all or cooked too severely. If you, if you put a grouse or, or a pheasant or, or pretty much any game bird into an oven that is too hot, um, it's just going to, the intensity of the heat just works its way through the protein, tightening it up, squeezing out all the blood and the juices, and you just end up with something that's ultimately overcooked, but even en route to that, just, just being dry. So trussing birds with bacon over the, over the crown helps to just give a physical protection from the direct heat. The bacon then cooks, crisps, the fat renders out, seeps over the meat and helps, helps protect it. Uh, lower cooking temperatures. And then also, you want to acknowledge that, okay, well, if you've got a pheasant, for example, a pheasant's never going to be, um, it can be tender, but it's, it's never going to be a juicy, succulent, you know, luxurious piece of meat. So it then makes sense to serve garnishes that then help to lubricate and enrich. So you, I would always put a puree on there or something that's rich, you know, whether it's a parsnip puree or, or some lovely juicy prunes or some, you know, something that's actually going to play the, replace the component that you've acknowledged that is missing, which is the fat. Um, so that actually when it comes together in the mouth, you've still got something that's luxurious to eat. There are your primary ingredients in the game repertoire. The grouse, the venison, the mallards, the, 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 the woodcocks, the teals, the real prime birds, the expensive, super tender, absolutely unashamedly delicious birds. There are also, of course, other animals low down the pecking order. Wild rabbits, for example, are a very underused uh, animal. They're difficult, they're bony, they're small. To make sure that they, they are delicious, is, is there's, there is a trick to it. Um, and even something like a squirrel, for example, is a fantastic, nutritious, delicious, abundant, sustainable, local wild ingredient. Here we have um, uh, a selection of game that we're actually using to make a, a minestrone today, an autumn minestrone. Um, here we have uh, a little, that is a squirrel, a little squirrel. Obviously, he's got a slightly feistier back legs than his front legs. Um, and the squirrel is a really underrated, um, underrated animal. Yes, there's not a lot there to eat. It's not the same as biting into a juicy loin of venison. But the fact is, wild, they're abundant, it's um, sustainable, it's local, it's full of flavor and we use the squirrels actually to make a stop, a background stop for the minestrone. Um, that is a wild English rabbit, much leaner and smaller than the farm French counterpart, but nonetheless um, 
a very lean, abundant bit of wild game. Um, fantastic fresh kidneys, liver in there. Um, and then a hare, which are just coming into season. These are much bigger animal where it's been shot. Um, big back legs, very tough. Saddle, the middle section, amazingly tender, hugely flavorful, strong, strong, um, deep, deep purple. Um, hare is a fantastic uh, creature. 